Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Chief Pat, and today we're hopping into episode 20 of our Let's Play Clash Royale series, where I'm gonna be showing you a card I think is criminally underrated inside of the game. That's gonna be the three elixir minions. A lot of people rock the minion horde, they rock certain other cards, but the minions offer awesome value at three elixir. It takes three shots for a tower to take them out. If you guys are the same level, which is insane, it means they get a lot of damage off against the tower, and it almost forces your opponent to respond. So I definitely recommend trying them out at least a couple of times. I know the minion horde are like the sexy pick and everyone likes using the minion horde because it's so strong, but the minions definitely aren't too shabby as well. And uh, let's go ahead and try them out inside a couple of battles. So starting off, we're gonna be playing against D Nord 6. Of course, I'm still rocking the bomb tower in my deck. Again, one of the most broken cards inside of the entire game. I'm hoping inside of the update coming out in early May that we see a big nerf to it. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and plop that down in the very center. Start with a baby dragon in the back. And as soon as we drop ours, he's gonna drop his next to our bomb tower. And uh, we're gonna use our musketeer to clean that up. So musketeer's gonna do a decent job. Our bomb tower actually did get a shot off uh, against that musketeer as well. And now we can start to make a little bit of a push down the left-hand lane. He drops his hog rider, really not a great play right there. Gonna get a hit off on the tower, but now now we can counter with our Prince, and we've got a total of a 13 Elixir push going down the left-hand lane. Four for the Valkyrie, four for the Musketeer, five for the Prince, and now we're just going to get a ton of damage off against the Tower as our Prince hammers away as well as our Musketeer. So good stuff. Tower's down below 50% HP. Uh, we can debate what we want to play. Could do something like our Goblins. That should be able to distract the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Don't know if we'll have enough damage. I'm hoping we do, and it looks like it does. I was sort of expecting a zap because that's what I see so much up in the legendary arena, but we're still gonna be okay. Let's go ahead and reset with a bomb tower towards the very center. So overall, since the bomb tower lasts so long, it's a pretty solid counter against the goblin hut. Uh, it should die, I think, a little bit quicker than the goblin hut does, but he's actually gonna drop his musketeer to try to shoot it down. So it looks like it's gonna take a lot of damage, but that means we're gonna go for another push down the right-hand lane. So as soon as that happens, he'll drop his minion horde to respond. Gonna be really tough to deal with. Of course, it takes two shots for a musketeer to kill a minion, which I think is a little bit OP uh, inside of the game, even if they are similar level, but gonna go ahead and let those minions die in the right-hand lane. My minions are gonna go down for the first time this game and to start going crazy on that hog. Now he is gonna use his free spell. That's gonna cost him eight elixir on that push by itself, which means it's time to go for a counter push. And uh, let's go ahead and start throwing all of our stuff down the lane. So the fireball just hits that musketeer, really lucky, or you can say skilled, say whatever you want. And that's gonna bring the tower down to three HP. And if we can hold him off for one more push, uh, we can probably use our fireball to end this game. So Valkyrie in the center, that's gonna hit both of those guys at the same time. Our three elixir minions should be able to do at least a decent job against the minion horde, but still his musketeer stays alive for another second. And it's actually gonna end up getting a shot off against our bomb tower. So sort of just playing defense right now. We've got our goblins helping out against uh, the mini P.E.K.K.A. We're gonna play our musketeer to kill the dragon. There's only 10 seconds left in the battle. I'm spamming the bomb tower in the very center, just trying to get one more defense down. And that should pretty much wrap up the game, seeing as we just need a fireball to take him out. So one second left on the clock, Fireball's gonna throw down. Good game to D Nord 8, that's gonna be taken out of level seven. And uh, the minions actually did a pretty solid job that game. We used them on defense for the Hog Rider. Of course, using minions on your side of the map against their minion horde actually works out pretty well uh, as well because you have either one or two towers helping you out. Uh, when you're fighting against the horde, it can actually do pretty decently. Let's go ahead and start opening up that chest, get into another battle where we're gonna be facing off against a dreaded level eight. The two level difference, something that everyone hates inside of the game. Let's go ahead and see what our starting cards are, and uh, really not that great. We have to play the baby dragon. You can't play the minions or goblins or fireball as your starter, so we end up playing our baby dragon from the very back, and as soon as he plays that elixir pump, that means that we have to commit to a push down the right-hand lane. We don't have a choice. We don't have any other cards that can really help us out, uh, so we're going to end up using our goblins against that hog rider. That should actually work out pretty well for us. Our valkyrie and our baby dragon are trying their best to hit that tower, and uh, as soon as he makes his way to this side of the map, I'm going to use my fireball against the minions. I don't want to take any risks using our, our three elixir minions to try to take out that horde. It could work pretty well if I played it perfectly, but if I mess it up uh, to try to save one elixir, then it really wouldn't be that great. So we're just going to let that go. And yeah, we have a little bit of a lead, but as you can see, he is stacking up the elixir pumps. And as a lower level, it's really hard to deal with this. We can try our best trying to get our prince to the elixir pump, try to get take out some of that value. But uh, with him getting all of that elixir, things are going to be a little bit rough inside of this game. Okay, so baby dragon from the back. 
back. Baby dragons are really good against the barbarians, should be able to help out a bit. Getting ready for our bomb tower as soon as we hit 10 elixir, that'll help out against this hog rider right here. Minions are gonna go down on the side of the hog, and guess what? He's gonna be using the free spell, another hog free freeze user. As soon as our minions get unfrozen though, they're gonna go crazy on those barbarians, and they should be able to actually damage that pump, unless he drops something like the skeletons, or his arrows, or whatever else he wants to drop. But two hits should take away one elixir value from that pump right there, so really not too bad. And uh, let's go ahead and set up for another push from the very back of our base. Okay, so right when I play the Musketeer, he's going to drop that Hog Rider. I assume he has the free spell, so this isn't really going to end too well. We don't have any great cards to counter him, which would be our goblins or our minions. Uh, so this tower is as good as gone, and our prince will actually end up getting one last stab off and helping us hold off that push right there. Okay, so minions are gonna go down. We're gonna make a push down the left-hand lane. We got the Valkyrie, the Prince, the three minions. He's gonna use his arrows and actually end up missing a lot of it. Uh, Baby Dragon's gonna help out against the Barbarians on the right-hand side. Gotta get ready with our Fireball, which is actually gonna get a ton of value right there, which we definitely need against an Elixir Collector user. And finally, we're gonna play another Bomb Tower uh, to end up taking out this Hog Rider. So Goblins to help out, wanna make sure that Bomb Tower doesn't die. I guess it was gonna die anyways, uh, but we wanted to make sure he didn't get to the tower. We got the Baby Dragon, as well as the Minions going down the right-hand lane. Looks like they'll actually win that confrontation by a little bit. Uh, but again, we gotta play some more defense with this Valkyrie, and with 123 HP left on our left-hand tower, not sure what else we can do i think he has yeah he does have arrows so if he cycles his arrows he's gonna win the game it's gonna take two arrows to try to win uh, we play our bomb tower to where it's pretty hard to freeze everything at the same time he's gonna play his minion horde which will fireball as soon as we can and uh, at this point we're gonna need a miracle i'm gonna try my best if i can get a valkyrie prince push to the tower we might have a chance uh, but still he can just arrow us twice and that's pretty much going to spell the end of the game. He does have two low towers right now, though. 794 on the left, 952 on the right. He's going to play an Elixir Collector on defense, though. And this is just going to be so tough to deal with. We drop our goblins at the worst time. The goblins are going to get hit by the arrows. Luckily, he didn't actually use the arrows um, against our tower. You can see I instantly prep for a bomb tower after that fireball goes down, because I assume the hog rider is coming out. Another free spell is going down, so we'll drop our Valkyrie. We're getting ready with the minions as well. And uh, we're going to start hacking away at this hog rider right here. And with 20 three seconds left we just have to hold off a little bit more of a push and to hopefully try to get a tie in this game i don't know if we can do too much else to try to win there's just so much hp left on those towers and as we go down to the final seconds i don't have enough elixir for my bomb tower and uh, that's going to spell the end of the game with 10 seconds left in overtime so pretty much two level difference just continually cycling hog riders on me after placing his elixir pump really not too much i can do i feel like i, I played the best that i could really play uh given the circumstances so really not too unhappy with that loss and uh, let's go ahead and hop into one more using these minions and see if we can work it out taking a look at our deck if there's anything we want to switch up i guess we could try out our arrows because of the fact that the fireball hasn't been giving us too much valuable inside of these battles arrows are better against the minion horde which if you guys have noticed we played the minion horde in probably my last 10 battles uh, so whenever you guys reach arena 5 arena 6 that's when I would recommend switching from Fireball to Arrows. Um, so at this point, let's go ahead and throw those into our deck. Try out a battle against Pablo, where we're facing off against another level 8 inside of the game. So starting off, he's going to play a giant wizard push. Going to be a little bit annoying to deal with. We'll play our Valkyrie to try to help out against that wizard. We play our minions because we assume the wizard's going to die, but that level 5 wizard and those level 8 spear goblins have so many hit points that they end up surviving. And because of that, I probably took an extra, I don't know, 1,000 damage or 800 damage right there so unfortunate series of events we only get 500 damage on the right hand side so this one starts off as a little bit of a fail and we're gonna have to turn it up going into the rest of the battle of course Pablo is using the bomb tower uh, everyone's favorite card inside of the game let's go ahead and use our musketeer try to kill, kill these minions before they get too much damage and uh, at this point, sort of debating what we can do, we could use our Prince to try to take out this bomb tower. So let's go ahead and run down the left-hand lane. And uh, as soon as we start charging up, they're actually gonna end up hitting the tower. He's gonna play his arrows. And uh, yeah, minions are gonna float down the lane. Actually tank the, for the Musketeer just a little bit. And uh, normally it would take three hits for the minions to die against someone who's an even, even level, which is really why I like the card. But unfortunately, playing a level eight, it's actually gonna take two hits, uh, which makes them significantly weaker. But still, looks like everything's okay. We got the tower down to 612, but keep in mind, we do have to deal with this uh, Elixir Pump, which is continually giving him an advantage. Even if he makes mistakes, that Elixir Pump's gonna give him a little bit of a reprieve to try to recover for the rest of the battle. So. Elixir pump plus having two levels on me. This one is going to be a little bit rough. Okay, so another elixir collector's gone down. 
uh, we're sort of just sitting back on our heels. We only have six elixir ourselves, so I'd estimate that we're at a pretty big disadvantage right now as far as elixir goes. Let's go ahead and start off really slow with the musketeer towards the very back. He could be playing some of his air troops, and as soon as that goes down, he's going to be playing another giant wizard push, except this time I definitely have cards to counter it a little bit better. We can play our prince right on top of the wizard. In fact, the bomb tower actually hit the wizard multiple times. And uh, now, we've got the Prince, we've got the Valkyrie, we've got the Musketeer, we've got the Minions, we've got the Baby Dragon. That's a total of, let me do the math in my head, 5 plus 8 plus 3 plus 4. That's 20 Elixir in a single push right there, plus another Musketeer. This push just got out of control. You can see the freeze that he played really put him in bad shape because it let me set up for an amazing push down the left-hand lane. 20 Elixir worth of troops. And because of that, we're going to make a push, try to go for the 3 crown. Of course, he's going to say, hey, I'm level 8, you're level 6, stop with that 3 crown crown madness and uh, he's gonna stop me in my tracks but still 299 health left on that bottom left hand tower and with 13 seconds left I really haven't seen a direct damage card that can get that much health uh, in this amount of time so we're just gonna play the Valkyrie to distract the wizard play some arrows as well Valkyrie's gonna clean them up and uh, that is going to be the game for a convincing win over Pablo uh, and again against a level 8 as a level 6 so good stuff overall some fun battles today I do have to say that second battle I played pretty well uh, I don't know what else I could have done. Maybe if you guys saw something, you can let me know in the comment section below. But the arrows, I feel like it's a good time to swap them in around 1,900 trophies because we're seeing so many people with the minion horde and being able to take that out and spend one less elixir really does make a gigantic difference. I know some people scoff at that, but one elixir can make a huge difference inside the battle, uh, pretty much inside of every single battle. So it's about that time to switch it over. I'm really liking minions. I'm definitely gonna be playing this deck some more. And uh, yeah, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that like like button with a body part of your choice. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.